glycerol. And here are your three fatty acids. So how do you digest fat for energy? Step one, first thing, take the glycerol and break it away from the fatty acids. This is glycerol. I just did it. What are you going to do with the glycerol? Real easy. With ATP, you need ATP to do it. Don't worry, you're going to use one. You're going to make glyceraldehyde. Phosphate. You need a couple of reactions to do this. What do you do with the glyceraldehyde free phosphate? You can either go down glycolysis, glycolysis, starting at the top of page two, and make pyruvic acid. Or you can do take two of these, two, and run it backwards and make glucose. That's if you need glucose, right? Most of the time, what are you going to do? You're going to take this carefully. You're going to burn the fat, you with me? Make pyruvic acid from the glycerol, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, how did you get glyceraldehyde free phosphate from the glycerol of fat? Okay, so far are you with me? And from the pyruvic acid, just trust me, going into the mitochondria, you're going to make a total of 15 AT piece. Okay? 12 within Krebs cycle and 3 to get in. You know, pyruvic to acetyl CoA, remember pyruvic? To acetyl CoA. So this will yield 15 what? AT piece. So far, are you with me? Folks, you haven't seen anything yet. What do you do with the fatty acids? That has tremendous amount of energy. Remember, fat, if you burn it, has nine calories per gram, whereas glucose and protein only have four calories per gram. So where's all the energy and fat? It's not in the glycerol, it's in the fatty acids. And I'm just going to lay it out for you. A fatty acids. One, they always have an even number of carbons. So I will draw it for you a fatty acid. You will draw it with me. CH2 means this. 